Hey guys, Average Joe Arms here. I want to do a little range report for you guys. I uh, had a great time today. Uh, spent three and a half hours with uh, my buddy Michael at the range and shot a lot of ammo in that time, uh, which is really good because uh, I really, I wanted to test a couple guns and uh, have fun with them, but this one is my EDC. Uh, this is what I carry. Uh, I took it out of rotation for a couple days because I did some stuff to it and I want to make sure it ran good before I trusted it with my life again. And this is my Smith & Wesson M&P uh, Shield Plus, 9mm of course. And uh, you can has configuration of 10, 13, or 15. I don't really use the 10 too much. Um, uh, today I did shoot with the 10 because I wanted to put a lot of rounds through it. So I had those four magazines and um, I put about 350 rounds through this gun today. Uh, I did have one light primer strike, uh, just to be upfront and honest. Uh, it was with the first 10 round mag that I had. Uh, it was kind of a blessing because I stopped what I was doing and realized I wasn't filming. Um, so I got the camera rolling and uh, I just put out a little short before that. And um, it ran absolutely perfect after that. That was in, like I said, the first 10 round mag and I ended up with 350 rounds. Uh, so I don't know what happened. Maybe it was the ammo. I don't know. Um, I put that round back through the gun and it ran the second time. So I don't know. But I did put the Apex trigger in here. It's a duty carry um, action enhancement and it was excellent. Um, check that it's open. Excellent. Um, had a great time with it. And I got to say, um, in full transparency, the reason why this gun is out and the rest are still in the bag is as soon as I got home, I cleaned this, um, filled the mags back up with my defensive rounds, which are SIG 124 grain um, jacketed hollow points. So this one's already been cleaned and, and all that, and um, that's why it's not in the bag with the rest. Uh, but you'll see these are not clean and it's still very dirty, but it ran very well. Um, if you guys want to check out that short, uh, I can't believe how flat this actually shoots for, it's only a 3.1 inch barrel. Um, the compensator of course helps and um, this EPS carry has been absolutely excellent. And if you haven't watched my channel, I had this on my um, Apollo 11 because uh, it is RMSC. So I might as well just pull this out now. But I had this Siley Cat Pro on here at first. I took it off, put the EPS carry on it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it on this gun at all. I don't know why. Who knows? Uh, but since then, I've put it on this gun, and I absolutely love it. Um, it just, maybe it's the size compared to the gun. I don't know. Uh, it's happened to me before with my... Um, Siley Bear, that's on my PDP right now. I had that on a different gun, didn't like it, put it on the PDP, loved it. Who knows? But this thing performed excellent. i um, very happy with it and ready to trust my life with it again and um, put it right back in the carry rotation, which I already did. After I got home from the range, like I said, I cleaned it, put the defensive ammo in it, put it in my pack, and I went out for a ride and brought it with me and felt very confident after uh, today's day at the range. So, Shield Plus awesome um i absolutely loved it i'm just gonna stick that there for now um actually guys i want to show you this next because this is the newest stuff on my channel i have a lot of rounds through that uh this is the smith and smith and wesson the taurus 627 uh tracker in 357 magnum um you can see look how dirty this thing got of course the ports um this was so much fun. I am so loving this gun. Uh, it's probably my favorite to shoot right now. Uh, the seven round capacity is awesome compared to six. And a lot of these are in five. When I was looking for a 357 Magnum, um, I just thought five was silly and uh, was looking for a six and then just got really lucky that I found a seven. But it's still kind of, uh, you know, it's seven rounds, but it was a lot of fun. And I love shooting it. And I shot a ton of rounds through this thing. I shot 200 rounds of 38 Special and only 50 rounds of uh, 357 Magnum. Those are very expensive. And uh, I figured why not just, you know, I wanted to make sure I shot them and everything ran good and stuff like that. Uh, but for fun, I'm just gonna be shooting 38 through it for the, just at the range. Um, but I absolutely love it. It shoots great. 
Uh, I got a little bit better with the single action. Again, I refer to other videos because in my other video I had mentioned I didn't really enjoy it too much in single and I liked it better in double. I still like it better in double, but I'm getting used to the single action and I was putting some really good shots on target. This um, cheapo optic that I put on here was awesome. Um, this is I it was CB Life and uh, I said the name before. It probably says it on here. It's like a wolf something. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I'll put it up in the description, um, but yeah, if, you, if you're if you interested, check out my uh, Amazon storefront, it's in the description of all my videos, um, but I just wanted a cheap optic for this, and uh, I didn't care really, you know, how good it was, and 300 and, or I'm sorry, 250 rounds through it today, and you know what, I'm sorry guys, I think it was 300, I think I shot 250 up there, you know what, who cares, anyway, I shot a lot of this gun today. This thing held up great. Um, I like the dot. It's crisp and clean and clear. And um, the only thing I didn't like is I think it said it had shake awake, but this thing doesn't seem to shake. Oh, well, I, uh, I guess I'm wrong. I don't know if you guys can see that through camera. I'm sorry. Oh, there it is. It did shake awake. Um, at the range, it wasn't shaking awake for me. I had to push the buttons. Once I pushed the buttons, uh, she popped up. Uh, but anyway, and this rail that I got uh, on Amazon too. It didn't come loose or anything. The optic didn't come loose or nothing. And this thing was banging. Um, but I love it. So much fun to shoot. I, I Seriously, guys, you just go into the range. I, I'm not saying you have to carry a revolver or a home defense. Um, but just for fun, this was so much fun. I really enjoy it. And uh, I'm very happy that I got it. And I'm very happy with it. So all you guys that talked me into it, thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, I really enjoy this gun. It's so much fun. But, yeah, then I did want to bring this up, and I'm not going to save it for last, because I have done some things to this recently, and um, I did want to share some stuff, like the Prodigy grip that I put on here, excellent, I'm loving it, um, the grip safety has worked great that I had to work on, um, it's still shooting flawless, I am over 5,000 rounds on this, I stopped keeping track, um, but mainly, I was just putting the whole bunch, I have 176 rounds and mags, I was putting them all through it. Uh, today, I put them all through it, and then I reloaded three or four of them and put it through it again. So, I'm not sure the exact count. I'm over 5,000 rounds. I haven't had any issues or problems with it. The trigger works great. Uh, but I did want to talk about these handle T grips, too, because one of the reasons I wanted to bring this today, and um, bring this today, and also this today is there's three different types of handle grips here um, this is the rubberized and I really enjoyed it um, but not a lot of grip and of course that's what it is I'm gonna take this little piece off and put a piece of this on there which is really aggressive uh, this is called the edge material and it's supposed to be like as grippy as this uh, but for concealed carry so it doesn't hurt you um, which almost seems like, how are you going to do that? How are you going to make that as grippy as this um, and not be rough? Because rough is what holds it to your hand. And honestly, um, it's not. It's not even close to this. Um, is it more comfortable? 100%. Is it better than the rubberized? 100%. Uh, I really like it. But even here, I had a piece of this on here. Um, and I was using it without any of this. And I was really getting a good grip on it. Uh, with this piece on here, uh, my hand was, like, as you can see, look, I'll just rub it around on there. And it just rubs around. It just slides and moves. Um, you see that little piece there? Yeah, I can't do that. Look, i push, my, my finger will not move. So, this, very aggressive and uncomfortable, I couldn't imagine carrying with it. But actual shooting, when you have this in your hand, this thing sticks to your friggin' hand. So... I had actually ordered a set of these edge for this and um, I did get like a, a colored a gray and uh, I don't want to put it on now so I'll hold on to it in case this rips or something um, and like I said this is not comfortable at all this is grippy grip tape but shooting wise oh my goodness is this stuff awesome I really like this I really do um, am I gonna get that for this no I'm gonna keep this on here um, but just even that, you see, you see me move my hand around. I can't look, look, the gun moves around. 
I'll do that here too. Look, I can wooka 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 DJ it. Can't DJ this. So, anyway, um, that's a little tip for you guys. The PDP running absolutely amazing. Um, I got the Harrington Arms comp on there. Got the Siley Optics Bear on here. And I'm um, telling you guys, I freaking love this optic. I really do. And on this gun, it's so it's so awesome. Um, this is just an incre uh, incredible gun. But it's big. I mean, look, this is a 5-inch full-size 1911. And I'm not even going to go hammer. We'll just go back-to-back. -back. And with that comp, look at how far it sticks out past it. So we're just basically like beaver tail to beaver tail. This is a big freaking gun. This is 5.7 inch barrel with a comp. Um, it's just a big gun. I, not a carry gun, but a great home defense gun. Jeez. Um, or truck gun, car gun, whatever you want. And you don't need something small. Uh, this gun is just flawless. This is one of the few guns that I've never, ever, ever had one single like jam or issue um even when i was shooting that crappy ammo that kept jamming up my guns um i don't think this one jammed honestly maybe it was I, so i'm not i don't want to lie to you guys but um it's late at night and maybe i'm confused but i don't remember this one ever jamming on me and uh just great ergonomics great great gun great this trigger this trigger is excellent excellent trigger i i freaking love this trigger and honestly guys i'll be as bold to say as good as the apex triggers that i have in my other guns and um i have four five five apex triggers so i think i know what i'm talking about well, this trigger is every good as those apex triggers so um i'm not saying better as good love this gun excellent walter pdp 5.7 inch with side lamp spare harrington arms comp um I, it's between the revolver and this right now, uh, which is my favorite to shoot at the range. Uh, this is always probably going to get the win because it is, um, you know, magazine capacity. Uh, the smallest I have for this is 17, and I have 26 rounders. So, other than that, though, just pure fun. Um, it's hard to beat this. Uh, I love both of these. So, anyway, guys, um, that was my range trip today, like I said. We went to Strickland Range and Daytona Beach. Um, maybe we might go next Sunday again. Don't know um, if you guys are around. I met a bunch of cool people there today. Uh, normally at the range I go to, it's indoor range. You don't get much time uh, with other people. But here they have a firing line where you have to stand back from it. And everybody's kind of congregating around. And I met a lot of cool people today. It was a lot of fun. And um, got some new subscribers and stuff and people like that so um i appreciate you guys today that was awesome if you end up watching because like i said new subscribers maybe they'll watch this video now too so um but they were a lot of fun uh and it was great it's great to meet people and share knowledge and talk and stuff so it's one of my favorite parts of all this is the people and finding people that enjoy the things we enjoy so anyway guys if you have any questions on anything i've showed you anything i have um the the gun bag i get that all the time questions and stuff and i do have a video on it if you're interested and it's in my amazon storefront uh just like most of the stuff i showed you um the Siley optics bear all my tlr ones i got from amazon um my hollow sun eps the optic oh every optic here the cat that i have is pretty much off of amazon uh sometimes i get them on palmetto state uh all my hollow sun 407 a's were from palmetto state but um yeah i i get a lot of stuff on amazon and I, i'm not afraid to say it. it's not you know but so if you want check out my storefront i appreciate you guys um each and every one of you please stay safe take care of each other all right average joe arms